We've created our daylight system in our scene. Right now, if we look at the shadows beneath the trees, it looks as if the sun is shining straight down and is set to about noontime. After our discussion with the client, they've chosen the time of 9 a.m. They've also chosen a specific location near the office of our client. If you're following along with these lessons, go ahead and close the render frame window. Otherwise, open the file Chapter 5 Exterior Daylight 03.max. In order to change the position of the daylight system after it's created, we don't use the Modify panel. The Modify panel allows us to adjust the qualities of the light itself. The position of the light itself is actually performed by an animation controller. I realize we haven't learned anything about that yet. Don't worry. The interface for this is quite simple and you do not need a specific understanding of controllers. In order to change the position of the daylight, we have to have the daylight selected. Make sure you have the Daylight 1 object selected. It's not the compass rose that you want to have selected, it's the light itself. In the Command Panel, switch over to the Motion Panel by clicking on the Motion tab. Here we have a very special controller that allows us to adjust the position of the daylight based on the time of day, date, and location on Earth. Currently it's set to 12 p.m. on the first day of summer. Now, let's change this to 9 a.m. This is a 24-hour clock. By typing 9, we're telling it to be 9 a.m. In the hours type in, type in 9 and hit enter. You'll see the sun has changed position. Well, the first day of summer is daylight savings time, so go ahead and click the daylight savings time option. You'll see the daylight shift in position just a little more. In the location area, it currently says that our location, where our scene is taking place in the world, is San Francisco, California. You're thinking, why San Francisco? I had to start somewhere. And this just happens to be where Autodesk headquarters is located. We need to change the location. Our client's office is in Boston, Massachusetts. Click on the Get Location button. That presents us with a geographic location map of the U.S but we can choose different parts of the world from the map drop-down list. We're not limited to just being in the United States. We're going to stay in North America. That's where Boston's located. Now we can click on the map in the area where Boston is, and you should see right here just a little bit north of where Cape Cod sticks out. If we click on that spot, we should get Boston, Massachusetts. There are a lot of cities available, and it's not always that you'll pick the city straight off the map. In that case, we can go to the city list and choose Boston, Massachusetts from the list of cities available to us. Click OK. The sun now repositions itself to the location in the sky that would correspond to Boston, Massachusetts. You'll see the latitude and longitude change to that location on the map. Remember, the Motion panel is where you have access to the time and location settings after you create the daylight system. Make sure you have the Camera One viewport active and go ahead and render the scene. You'll notice two things almost immediately. The quality of the light has changed and the shadows have changed. Another thing that has changed, and sometimes it's not very noticeable, is the sky background. When the skylight was set to noon, the background sky had a different gradient than the sky we have at 9 a.m.